Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm reviewing another IQO model for you. This is their Okinawa figure, part of the World War II JP series. So let's jump right in and take a look at the box. Not much to see here for the outer shell. So here is the actual box. We've got some really cool artwork on here. Here's a look at the figure. Okinawa, 1945. So pretty cool artwork. And the date is unknown, but was probably made I would say a year or two ago. All right, if you open it up, you got this really nice backdrop here for display purposes. And then inside of the box, we've got a few things here. We've got some extra hands for the figure, of course. And then this is an absorption bomb that the figure comes with. And I've never really seen anything like this before, but this is really cool. Um, this is all wood. And then the actual bomb is made out of metal. So it's got a lot of weight here at the end, but it feels really good in, when you hold it. And then some other accessories that the figure comes with here. We've got two grenades, very unique grenades. And these are also made out of metal, so they're very heavy. All right, and then the figure also comes with this headband that you can put on, and I'll show that a little bit later in the video. But other than that, I think that's, yep, that's everything that I've left inside of the box. So let me take out the actual figure for you now. Okay, so here he is, guys. Another excellent model from IQO. This one is really impressive, detail-wise, and just overall, he, he displays really nicely. I've also noticed that this one seems to be the cheapest one out there, at least at the moment. I paid around um, $180 for him on eBay, and all the other ones usually go for $200 or more that I've seen. So this one... For whatever reason, it seems to be the cheapest one. So for that reason, he's probably a good one to start out with if you're looking to start collecting these figures. All right, well, for starters, let's take a look at the weapons he comes with. You can see he's holding um, this is a Type 100 submachine gun. He holds that really well. So let me take that out of his hand. And let's take a look at this up close. So it's made out of wood, at least the stock. It looks really good. And then the barrel and the magazine, this is all metal. So it's very weighty. And yeah, overall it looks really good. I like the sling on it and the sights pop up. Okay, you can pull this back. And then obviously the magazine comes out. You can see the bullet there. Um, the only complaint is I've noticed the magazine does not stay in very well, which is pretty annoying. You would think that they would do a better job designing that. It falls out very easily, as you can see. All 
And here he is holding it in his hands. And he holds that very well. And there's also a spot here if you want, you can attach his bayonet. Let me try to get this on. All right, there we go. All right, well, moving on, let's take a look at some of his other equipment here. So he comes with a lot of stuff here. We've got tons of uh, pouches here. We've got two cartridge pouches in the front. And this is the only magazine that they provide you with, unfortunately. I wish they had given more. And then a lot of other pouches here that you have to put on. Um, I really like how that looks, how it's going over his stomach like that. Okay, there's the sheath for his bayonet. And then one of my favorite accessories is this katana that the figure comes with. This is really beautiful. Got a nice scabbard for that. And then here's the actual blade. And this is metal, as you would expect. And it looks and feels really good. Love the detail on this. And here he is holding it in his hand. Probably not the best hand to be holding it. But you get the idea. That looks really cool. Now the only thing I did have trouble with was, and still am having trouble with, is figuring out how to get the katana scabbard attached correctly onto the belt. Um, yeah, this is a little awkward to do, so if anyone has any tips, please let me know if you own this figure by any chance. That would be helpful. All right, um, in the back here we've got some more, um, we've got a backpack here, really cool camouflage pattern on that, and then another uh, knapsack down here. Got his canteen. And then he also comes with a pistol. And this is also metal. The detail is okay on it. It doesn't look that impressive in my opinion, but I really like how it feels. Very weighty. And then it also has the string on it, so you can attach it um, over his neck if you want. But um, he holds it really well in his hand. All right, let's take a look at the head sculpt and the hat. So the cap fits pretty snugly onto his head. It's a pretty tight fit actually, but it looks good once you get it on there. Now I did have to glue parts of this onto the cap because that doesn't come like that. You gotta do it yourself. And once you get that all together, I think that looks really good.
And here's the head sculpt, which is very nicely detailed, very lifelike. And let me pull out his headband from earlier. And let me try to get this on for you guys. Okay, well, I've got his headband on, and I've also swapped out his hands so that he can better hold his absorption bomb. So here he is. Got his submachine gun slung across his shoulder. Looks pretty awesome. I really like the headband. And then just briefly, let me take this out of his hands and let's bring out the katana. There we go. All right, this hand holds it much better. That looks really, really nice. All right, well, to wrap things up, um, let's just take a look at the uniform really quickly here. Um, so he's got this really nice camouflage uniform. I love the, the design of this, very unique. And it looks great. And we've got some collar insignias here that um, they already put on for you. And then lastly, we've got his boots, which is a really nice cloth material. And then the leggings, which you do have to put on yourself, but it's not too hard to do that. And that looks really nice. All right, guys. Well, that is everything to show for this figure. I'm really impressed by him. I love the uniform. Um, I really like the headband and also uh, the cap. Look great on the head sculpt. And then one of my favorite parts is this katana. He just uh, looks really, really awesome with that, especially with the headband that looks great so i do highly recommend this figure like i said he is the easiest one to get a hold of from what i've seen so if you're looking to get into iqo models and this is a great one to start out with all right guys well thanks a lot for watching and um just one other thing he does come with a stand so stick around to the end of the video and i'll show him on display on that so i'll see you next time